A 57-year-old British man has been arrested in Germany on suspicion of spying for Russia. The man, named only as David S., worked at the British Embassy in Berlin and is accused of passing documents to Russian intelligence in exchange for cash. Our security correspondent Gordon Carrera has this report. A Berlin spy case involving British secrets and Russian spies. German prosecutors allege that a man who worked here at the British Embassy in Berlin passed on official documents in exchange for money. He's alleged to have been working for the Russian intelligence service. Their embassy is located not far away in Berlin. The man who worked as a security guard was arrested yesterday in Potsdam, southwest of Berlin, and his apartment and office were searched today. We take extremely seriously the indications that the detainee's secret service activity was done on behalf of a Russian intelligence service. Because spying on a close ally on German soil is absolutely unacceptable, and we stand in full solidarity with our British friends. So what do we know about the suspect? He's been named simply as David S, his second name withheld under German privacy laws. He's a 57-year-old Briton. He was employed locally by the embassy as a contractor, so not as a diplomat. And it's alleged he was working with the Russians since at least November of last year. The arrest came after what I understand was an intelligence-led operation run jointly by German and British authorities, including the security service MI5 here and Metropolitan Police. Once they felt they had enough evidence, a German judge issued an arrest warrant. Cold War Berlin was the spy capital of the world. The Gleinecke Bridge there was known as the Bridge of Spies because of the exchanges that took place between East and West. Spying has changed since then. Secrets can be stolen remotely over cyberspace, but that does not mean that old-fashioned human spying, as seemingly witnessed in today's case, has gone away. It's unusual, but it's not surprising. It would be more surprising if Russia were not doing this. It's no surprise that they are conducting espionage against a country that they consider to be their adversary, the UK. And it's also not surprising that they get caught in the process, which is quite reassuring. So far, this potential security breach at the embassy does not look to be too serious. But it does serve as a reminder that beneath the surface of a city like Berlin, spies are still plying their trade. Gordon Carrera, BBC News. Our Europe correspondent Mark Lowen is outside the court where the British suspect appeared this afternoon. And Mark, what happened in court and, and what now? Well, Sophie, this is Germany's highest criminal court here in Karlsruhe, and it's where David S. appeared this afternoon, facing the German legal charge of engaging in intelligence agent activity. Now, we know that the judge accepted the arrest warrant and remanded him in custody. He will not be granted bail. But beyond that, perhaps predictably, this intelligence story is shrouded in mystery. The German authorities are not telling us what happened inside the courtroom today. We don't know whether David S. issued a plea or responded to the charge. Similarly, we're not being told where he's now being held and for how long. German law does not have a maximum pre-trial detention period. But this is, of course, a high-profile case, and presumably the legal authorities will be keen to move the process swiftly along. They will now be making further inquiries. David S. will have access to a lawyer as the German authorities seek to understand just how far this alleged case of British spying for Russia in the heart of Berlin really went. Mark Lern, thank you.